Hey everybody, welcome to Bear Outfitters. Today we're going to be going over individual first aid kits and what I bring along in my first aid kit that I bring with me on all of my trips. If there's something that you pack in your first aid kit that I don't mention here, be sure to leave a comment below with what that might be so we can learn from each other. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can catch more of our content coming up. The first item that I bring along in all my first aid kits is a pair of vinyl exam gloves. Now these exam gloves are going to be a great non-latex option and they're going to give you a barrier between you and any bloodborne pathogens that you might have to come across when you render first aid. Remember, first aid isn't always just for people in your group. I've given first aid to a lot of people in the backcountry, and this is a great tool to keep you from getting up any little infections or anything that somebody might have in their blood along the way. So, vinyl or latex exam gloves. The next thing that makes it into my first aid kit is going to be some alcohol prep pads. These things are cheap and they're easy to get. For a couple of bucks, you can get a box of like 500 of these, and they're really great to keep around. Not only are they great for first aid kit stuff, but if you have a sticky mess in the backcountry and you want to clean up your hands just a little bit, if you're out of wet wipes, this is a good alternative. The next thing that I bring in my first aid kit is band-aids. I don't bring a ton of these, and I'll explain why here in just a minute, but a couple of band-aids for little small nicks and scrapes is going to be a great way to take care of those. The next thing that I bring in my first aid kit is going to be these 2x2 two two inch gauze pads. So these pads are a little bit bigger, they're going to handle the bigger cuts and scrapes that you might get in the backcountry. Let's say that you scrape up your heel or you need to protect a blister. These are a great option for that. So the 2x2 two two gauze pads. The next thing I bring along is the big 4x4 inch gauze pads. These are great if you fall down and bust a knee or an elbow. This is going to be a great option for those. Next thing, some butterfly strips. These are going to be able to close up some of the bigger wounds, especially if you get a long slice-like wound. Um, these are really great for closing up those kind of slicey kind of wounds, those big cuts. The next piece of gear is one that a lot of people haven't heard about, and it's called Leuco Tape. Now, Leuco Tape is essentially a really high thread count athletic tape. So it's fantastic for blisters and it's fantastic for keeping a bandage on for a long time. So for example, if you get a cut on day one of a backpacking trip and you want to keep it on until day seven of that backpacking trip, Luco tape is going to be your best friend. Now this is a full size roll, um, which is a little bit heavy, but you can get this in smaller size rolls as well. Luco tape does a big portion of my wound care and my wound closing up, but I also bring a little bit of duct tape along. It's cheap, it's lightweight, it's easy to keep around, and it also works in a pinch for gear repairs. Now, I don't bring up a lot of personal medication, but one thing that I do bring up is an anti-inflammatory like ibuprofen. Now, you can get generic ibuprofen at any gas station in a little 2x2 two two pouch, um, and that's going to be a little bit easier to carry along, and it's going to be a little bit lighter weight. But if you're like me and you want to have some extra around in case you need to help somebody else out, you can bring the full-size bottle. Now, one thing that I do suggest is if you're going to carry a couple of different kinds of pain relievers or uh, anti-inflammatories, you can bring along a pill box, which is going to be easier to carry and is going to be a little bit lighter weight, and it's going to give you an option to diversify up your pill set if you do bring a lot of pills. The last thing that I throw in my first aid kit is Gold Bond Powder. Now, this works great if you have chafing in personal areas, or if you're out for a couple of days and you want to clean up the grease in your hair, you can put a little bit of baby powder or Gold Bond Powder in your hair and kind of wash it out a little bit and it's going to help you kind of feel a little bit fresher. So those are things that I carry in my individual first aid kit. What are some things that you carry with you in the backcountry? Um, if you, this is going to be your first trip out in the backcountry, I really do suggest putting together a first aid kit. There are a lot of commercially available options, but making your own is going to make it a little bit more customizable. And one of the things that I always bring up when we're talking about first aid kits is there's no substitute for good training. The more training you have, the less gear you can bring because you're prepared for improvisation options. So for example, I can improvise a band-aid out of Luco tape. So I could realistically drop a couple of gauze bandages off of that if I wanted to. But one of the things that I tell people is that you can take all the gear that you want, but if you don't know how to use it, it's not going to be any help to you. So learn how to use those things that you take with you in your first aid kit. For example, if you're unsure how to use a butterfly closure, um, I may make a video in the future about how to use it, but there's lots of great first aid videos out there. So be sure not to substitute gear for knowledge and be sure that you're taking things with you that you can use. And again, if you're going on a longer trip or a more in-depth trip, you can bring along things like a tourniquet, you can bring along things like a snake bite kit. It really just depends on where you're going. And so that's why I say tailoring your own first aid kit to your circumstances is gonna be a better option for a lot of folks that are going into the backcountry, especially if you're going to go for multiple days at a time. 